Charles is seen for first time since Cash for Knighthood Storm. Prince of Wales joins Camilla on royal engagement in Glasgow after closest aide was forced to resign for offering sword a billionaire British citizenship. Prince Charles has been spotted for the first time since Cash for Honours allegations surrounding his charities emerged. The Prince of Wales donned a colourful face mask as he joined the Duchess of Cornwall at Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum in Glasgow to celebrate its 120th anniversary today. It marked the heir to the throne's first royal engagement since the claims by a former fixer who said the royal was 100% behind an offer to help Saudi tycoon Marfa's Mare Mubarak be Marfa's get UK citizenship. The allegation, by William Bortrick a paid advisor to Dr. B. Marfa's, who is a major donor to Charles Charities comes as the Prince's former valet Michael Fawcett was forced to step down as chief of the Prince's foundation. A string of claims about 58-year-old Mr. Fawcett's conduct while running the charity included the allegation he had offered to support Dr. B. Marfa's in his efforts to secure both a knighthood and British citizenship and new allegations about Charles' apparent involvement emerged in a draft letter from Mr. Portrick to Dr. B. Marfa's, who donated more than £1.5 million to Charles' charities. The letter by Burke's peerage published Mr. Portrick, which was drafted in May 2014, and revealed by the Times on Monday, said Dr. B. Marfa's application for citizenship would now take the highest priority. It added, His Royal Highness supports these applications 100%, as there is no greater example of contribution than yours, therefore this should be rewarded and recognised accordingly. A spokesman for the Prince said, The Prince of Wales has no knowledge of the alleged offer of honours, or British citizenship on the basis of donation to his charities, and fully supports the investigation now underway by the Prince's Foundation. Mr. Bordrick also suggested in the draft letter that Dr. B. Marfa's would get the opportunity to meet the Queen in the next few months and receive the special honours of a knighthood before full House of Lords membership. But the newspaper reported that there was no evidence of whether the letter was sent or agreed by Charles' advisers and Mail and Line has contacted a Clarence House spokesman for comment. The Duchess of Cornwall stroked an albatross model as she and the Prince of Wales visited the museum for its 120th anniversary today. They were given a tour of Calvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum which opened in 1901 for the Glasgow International Exhibition and in 1902 became the city's Civic Art Gallery and Museum. It reopened in 2006 after being closed for three years for refurbishment and has since welcomed more than 19 million visitors. Charles and Camilla were greeted by the Lord Lieutenant of Glasgow, Philip Brad, when they arrived at the museum on Tuesday and were introduced to museum manager, Neil Ballantyne and head of museums and collections, Duncan Dornan. The couple, who are known as the Duke and Duchess of Rothesay in Scotland, met museum staff, members of the COP26 team and members of the Cabinet Office COP26 team. Mr Fawcett was pictured outside his home in London on Monday morning walking his dog with his wife Debbie Burke. It follows reports that a letter on headed note paper made clear that Mr. Fawcett was prepared to assist in bumping up the tycoon's honorary CBE to a knighthood. Dr. B. Marfus has been one of the most prolific donors to the Prince's charities, giving more than £1.5 million to help fund renovations of residences supported by Charles. The Prince is understood to have known nothing of either Mr. Fawcett's letter or of emails from fixers about the prospect of an honour. Indeed, the Mail understands that he was so surprised by the claims that he couldn't believe them at first.
However, the revelations in the Mail on Sunday, and the Sunday Times represented the third time the future king has found himself facing a scandal involving Mr. Fawcett, who has twice before been forced to resign from royal service. Mr. Fawcett, at his own suggestion, has agreed to temporarily step down from his £95,000 a year role with the foundation, while an investigation is carried out. The future king, crucially, is said to be supportive of this. But last night he faced pressure to finally cut ties with his former valet, if allegations of wrongdoing are found to be proven, with one source suggesting there should be a timely parting of ways. The Prince's Foundation is also facing the threat of a possible police inquiry. Former Minister Norman Baker, a respected author on royal finances, said the sale of honours was an offence and he would be writing to Met Commissioner Cressida Dick to ask her to investigate. He said, The letter from Michael Fawcett seems to show there is a prima facie link being made between the donor getting an honour for money coming into Prince Charles' charity, which is an offence. Mr. Baker questioned whether an internal inquiry by the charity would be conducted with significant rigor, given Mr. Fawcett's elevated position. Mr. Fawcett has twice bounced back from scandals, once over bullying claims and again over the alleged sale of royal gifts, because of the prince's reliance on him. Charles, who prides loyalty and discretion above anything, once said he could manage without just about anyone, except for Michael, 